Hello viewers, today we're going to be testing this HP Office Jet 6500A printer. This is one of those multi-function all-in-one things that can print vaccine copy and web, whatever that is. I don't know what it does on the web, but anyways, I've never been too fond of HP's newest stuff. It always struck me as kind of like flashy and it's cheap like their laptops they always had like the high gloss finish that got scratched if you put a piece of paper on top of it <laughs> I, I don't know I just never really cared for this stuff but for free there's no complaining to be had and from what I understand some of the office line stuff is is still okay they used to make really good printers like back in the early 2000s that stuff was solid but I wouldn't buy one of their things from today. If this works and it works correctly, I'm going to give it to my grandfather because he likes to print a lot and I don't think he's so happy with the printer he has now. And he also needs a fax machine because he borrows one of mine every time he sends a fax, which is fine, but it would be better if he just had his own. So I'll give him this one if it works. And I got, I think, three or four change outs change outs of the cartilages here we got um, Canon Margaret and black but it's like a whole bunch of it so let's see what we have here we have uh, looks like Six yellow, three, four, five, five cannons, five Margaret's. And is there two in here? No, just one. And four blacks. So if at least we have at least four changes of the cartridges. So if nothing else, I should at least use this printer or he should at least use this printer until the ink run out. Wouldn't make sense to not. I don't think any of that ink is spoiled, it's not that old. And here's the power cord. I don't really like this. I'd rather just plug the cord into the machine and the power supply be in the machine. This is the HP Invent. Model numbers. I don't know what the model number is. What's the model numbers? Well, I don't know. The manufacturer was Doggone Light Power Second Plant. This is some funny man trying to brand. And the output is the 32 volts at the 1560 milliamps. That's a weird voltage, 32. You'll never find another one of these power cords if it quits. And it's got this pretty short little leader on it, which is fine. And then uh, on the other side of the cord, which is pretty long, we have a proprietary three pin. Looks like maybe just two to a filled up pin connector. So let's see what we have here on the back. We have the uh, Oh, there is three, three things in there. We have the phone line for the faxing, USB cord, and it advertised that it had an Ethernet connectivity. And I'm not seeing that, unless is this it? There it is. There's the Ethernet connectivity. I don't have a USB printer cord handy, so I'm just going to grab the Ethernet cord here, and we'll put this on the network. Or, well, 
Let's just see if it can, maybe it kind of like hosts itself on the network. I don't know how this works. It may be new enough to do that. Okay, so we should be all connected. There's the Ethernet branding. It's got an SD card reader. Your energy store, oh, that's great. Paper it takes 250 pieces of paper, e print, whatever that is. Four individual inks, so that's pretty typical. Alright, let's turn this thing on and see what transpires. Okay. I guess it is the initializing. There is a problem with the printer. Okay. There's a general error. It didn't sound too good. Let's see. Sounds awful. Um, okay, I'm not really sure what what the issue is with it. It certainly doesn't sound quite right. Sounds like something is stripped. And I was told this is in working order. Jeez, that sure sounds horrid. My goodness. Alright, I got some paper here. Let's see if we can get it to print something. Uh, network. Uh, okay, got an IP address. So let's do a print report. Oh, there's no paper in here. Ah, jeez. Now this paper in there. It's taking a long time.
Okay, I made some nice sounds there. The paper just flew onto the floor. I guess I guess that should have been out. And that wouldn't have happened. So, okay. So this is what we got here. It seems to be having printed out just fine. Sure sounds awful though. My goodness. The yellow cartilage is from 2017, the black is recent, the Margaret's very recent, and the Canon is pretty recent as well. Let's see if we can make a copy here. Okay, so how do we do a copy? There we go, copy. Looks like there's a, I don't know if that line is from the scanner lens or if that's from the, from the printing. There is a lot of junk on there. Uh, let's see if I have something to move off with. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Everything under the sun but a microfiber cloth. Towels here. There's all sorts of junk on the lens. Oh, it's not coming off either. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a cleaner or something for that. Well, before I waste my time trying to find a cleaner, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this the page through it like this, and let's see if it still has a line. Nope, there's no line. Okay, that's good. So that means that there's just something dirt or something on there. So let's see if I can find a cleaner. Here we go. Glass cleaner. And this looks pretty clean we use this one. Does this have to be shook before you use it? Yes, it's got to be shook and well. Okay, I shook it pretty good. Specs of something on there. I don't know if it's that like a white in or something. Looks like paint of some kind. Okay, so that's that. Now 
Does this, uh, this looks like it may have a separate lens for the, does it have a separate lens? I think it may have a separate lens for the, uh, for the document feeder. Yes, it does. And that's where the problem resides. I think somebody put some white in, or white out of whatever the heck it's called, through the daggone printer. Like, who does that? No, this is going to be difficult to get that off of there. But I'll get it off. I'll get it off. It's not the first time I've had to get stuff out of printers that shouldn't be in printers. Ow! Okay, then, in fact, that came off pretty easily. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That looks pretty clean now. Okay, let's try and see in something again. I always saw some paper stuck to something. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at that. Okay, it looks pretty clean now. Let's try again. Okay. Twenty-two, oh dear. Starting to sound a little better. Okay, no lines, so it looks like that's working fine. Okay, great. So the screener works, and it's not making any more hard noises, which is good. So let's go over to the computer and see if we can print something to it. Working on the camera, okay. I don't know why this screen flickers. I haven't really recorded too many computers with a, you know, screen like this that flicker. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's see here. We'll go into this, and let's see if we can add this printer. There it is, okay. Lovely.
Okay, so we're gonna have to go to the HP website. Uh, I don't think this has an option of letting me add it with a generic driver. I don't think it does. Whoops, that's cool. This is the HP Office Plane 6500A. And the computer is getting hot because it's on the carpet, which is, of course, something that should never be done. So I'm going to put this paper under there. Now, I don't like downloading HP drivers because they always have a lot of bloatware in them, but. This computer, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just for testing. I'm going to grab the basic driver, though. Uh, what is the difference? Windows 764, Windows 764. I don't understand what the difference is, so we'll just grab this one. Yes, that's why I clicked on it. Durr. Okay, Center Live's way to HP. Okay, that's outrageous because Windows could find it by itself. Okay, we'll just type the address in. Okay, you know what? This thing should be smacked. Well, the driver's in place. Maybe, uh... Maybe this will work correctly if I do this again. Okay, let's try doing it this way. Um, okay, this is far more agitating than it should be. Let's see here, I don't really want to do it wirelessly. 
but I may have to do it that way just for the sake of the video. Okay, press the wireless button on the front of the printer. What wireless button are we talking about here? Display wireless this. Okay. I don't see any wireless buttons on here. Plug the Ethernet here. Actually, you know what I could try doing? I don't know if this would make any difference, but I could try connecting the computer to this Ethernet cord. Maybe this will make it work. So what is it? Uh, we turn the wireless off. Is this I think this has a wireless switch on it somewhere. Let's see it. Okay, we'll just turn that off. And um, I don't want no home group stuff that's on the network. And we're going to do a wired network connection. Did that. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. I don't know why this won't work. I don't understand why that crazy software won't recognize the computer or the printer, rather. I don't think it's a network issue because. Window itself can recognize the printer with no problem. So why in the world can't the software recognize the printer? That's like stupid. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to make this as simple as I possibly can for the printer. We're going to take this Ethernet cord and plug it into this router. I guess this could be plugged in. I'm going to take this other Ethernet cord and I'm going to plug it into this router. And then I'm going to take these Ethernet cords and I'm going to put one into the printer. And I'm going to put one into the computer. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to freak out <laughs> because I don't want to deal with this anymore. I deal with this trash all day at work. I don't want to deal with it at home. Okay. Close out of here. Close, 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 uh, close. Okay. Wired network. I'm going to turn it off. And we'll turn it back on because that for whatever reason fixes a lot of problems. I guess I'll do that to the computer as well. Okay, it looks like everything has come up again. Let's check and see what the address of this is or if it even has an address. 
And for what it's worth, I find this is very intuitive and easy to use. Has an IP address, the same one, which I find kind of odd because now it's connected to a different piece of equipment and I, I can't fathom what other things would possibly be connected to that when there's only two things plugged in. It should be, it should have an address of 102, I would think, unless, uh, unless that printer is set statically for some reason. Which is not inconceivable, I guess. Uh, let's see here. I think... Well, I'll just try that on software. Why would it work? This is ridiculous. Whoosh. The printer cable. Let's try this. And if this doesn't work, then we're going to have some problems. I kind of would have liked to get this to work on the network because I know my grandfather is going to want it on the network. And so I'm just going to have this same problem at his house in a couple of weeks. But whatever I guess I'll deal with it then so I think the software is going to not want it connected first so I'm going to cancel out of there and let's close out of here and I'm going to USB connect it and it's going to say are you sure you want to connect this print using a USB connection yes um, and then okay now it says to connect it so I'll connect it Okay, it's connected on the printer side. And now it's connected to the computer. Um, okay. What? Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, is it working now? Now I think it's missing a driver. Oh, here we go. Joyce driver not installed. Okay, lovely. No driver found for anything. Perfect. <sighs> Let's see if Windows Update will bring in this driver. I have my doubts, but let's see. Oh, did it grab it now? Nope. Okay. This is ridiculous! Absolutely ridiculous! Nope. Okay. I guess we have to, to to fall back on that terrible full-blown driver package then because the basic one simply is not working.
217 megabytes of junk going into my computer. Uh, Yes, that's why I clicked on it. Oh gosh, what is this? Bing Bar? I don't need no daggone Bing Bar. I don't need no HP updates. I don't need stinking help. I just want the daggone thing to install. Huh? That's it. Oh. No, skip that. That's fine, whatever. Okay. What is this? What is this? How much junk this just opened? It looks like all the drivers are in there now. Can we do a scan if we want to? Uh, let's see. Okay, great. That's not what I wanted, but whatever. Printer properties. Where is the the printer test page it keeps doing scanner I don't want scanner Alright, this is ridiculous. Where is the daggone... Where the heck is the printer... test page? What am I... Me I mean, I know it's late at night here, but this is absurd. Alright, that's it. We're done with that. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. No idea where it's at. Okay, let's see if this will print.
Okay. This seemed to work just fine. The satisfactory quality. Let's see if this will copy multiple pages. Looks like the scanner works just fine as far as the feeder is concerned. Okay, now I'll try to print out a picture. Not too bad, it's not perfect. You can see some lines here and there, but I think for an ink printer that's perfectly fine. Okay, so it looks like this works. And it seems to work okay, other than the lack of network interface for whatever reason. I'll leave that for another day to figure out.